How exciting to be coming to the close of this Interpretation of Tongues class and to be able to close out with some examples of people that actually speak in tongues and interpret in our class that we filmed as we prepare to shoot these YouTubes and videos for you by God's grace so that you can understand the fullness of the messages and see the edification, exhortation, comfort. We have typed out the, the interpretation for you to read because the volume is a little bit low. So enjoy these and learn from them. There's a little more teaching involved in it, but these are good examples of how you speak in tongues and interpret in the church. I'm going to pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to come among us, upon us, and then I'm believing that He will tap some of you guys for some public messages this afternoon. If you would be so amenable to allow the Holy Spirit to work in you and have no fear. Okay? If you're afraid to do it, that's how much more you need to do it. So, okay. Show us today. We just take our hands off of this and let you do it. And if you've got a message here for us today, I know you do. Work within your people to bring these messages forth as the Spirit now moves upon us. Perfect. Right length, diverse tongue, very inspirational. Excellent. And the interpretation will be pretty much the same length as the tongue, right? I mean, if it's an interpretation, it may not be exactly word for word. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for those wonderful words. We're keeping our eyes on you, sir. Praise the Lord and thank God for those individuals that were so disciplined and had the love to bring forth those messages in the church and were so instructed to be led by the Holy Spirit when the Spirit came upon them. I sort of wish you could hear a little bit better, but you could certainly discern the diverse tongues that were spoken in those languages. In closing our class here, would you bear with me in my folly here for a moment? Uh, 37 years ago, I wrote a book on interpretation of tongues, and the ministry I was in told me that I could not publish it, that it was I was not ready to publish it. And for many years, I carried a grudge in my soul because of it. But you know what? 
even though I think what they said was for the wrong reasons, it was the right thing to do. I've continued to study this field through the years and I've been amazed at how God has opened this to me. I really believe that the greatest revelation that I have seen in this field is that interpretation of tongues is the interpretation of tongues. So, <clears throat> get in a small group and do this with that intent to speak words of edification, exhortation, and comfort. You can do this because of the mercy of God and to be able to develop these, uh, the fluency and the operation of these gifts that is in the church. As a matter of fact, I would really recommend that you do this and uh, become accustomed to the setting and perhaps a little bit of the nervousness that comes with it whenever you're going to do this thing publicly. So I would suggest that you do this in a smaller setting than it just in the uh, midst of a thousand people the first time you try it publicly. I think the greater place to learn interpretation of tongues is in your prayer closet. And I want to encourage you to really operate this and spend the time praying in the Spirit and being watchful of the diverse tongues as they come upon you. And just as one more uh, exhortation to you, anytime you ever feel the Spirit of God come upon you, immediately begin speaking in tongues, even if you are not speaking in tongues before. When you feel the presence of God come upon you in however way that you do or you perceive it, immediately begin praying in tongues. It will be a diverse tongue. And I'll promise you because it will be the Spirit giving you instructions about what to do or to edify you to prepare you to do it. We've been really thankful and blessed to be able to produce these teachings for you. We are posting them on YouTube so that they can be available for anyone around the world. We also have these videos available for sale through our office. And one of our prime ideas in producing these videos is for you to take these into your small groups. And I have been a champion of small group ministry my entire time in ministry, all, over 40 years. And I, I love the small group ministry. And this is really where these gifts operate really well because it's not hard to control the temperature, the atmosphere, and the order that's going on in these gifts. So we want to offer a package, especially for small group leaders, that includes the book, The Anointing In and On, and the book, Divers, Kinds of Tongues, and our new book, The Interpretation of Tongues. And we just sent the book off to press and the paper copies will be ready soon. The ebook is available on our website at lmci.org and from the reviews of those that have read the book initially, they have really, really liked it. It's a tremendously good read, even fun to read, lighthearted learning, but with a very serious subject. In closing, I'd like to say one more thing. And that is Jesus Christ gave his life for these two gifts of the Spirit to be endued upon us. How important are they? How dare we in our arrogance and pride, or even in our ignorance, relegate these to a less position than what Jesus gave his life for us to have? I want to encourage you to pray much in tongues. Build up your spirit. Take some miracle grow. And the Bible encourages us, let those that speak in tongues pray that they may interpret. If you'll ask Jesus to help you and spend time with the master from Galilee, I assure you that he can show you how to do this. And he can quell your fears and lead you into great boldness and efficacy as you want to edify the church around you. I'm very thankful again to have done this, to have had the help of our staff to produce this. And I'd like to encourage you again to set time aside to operate and utilize these things in your private prayer life. And then you'll be prepared to operate these in the church. Father, I thank you for your people that have been in this instruction. Almighty God, I pray that this teaching reaches around the world. Lord Jesus, you said to me that we were dangerously close in losing this gift. Oh God. Please, because I feel the great love in my heart and compassion 
for what you've shown me so many, many truths through this, Lord. Please don't let this happen. Take these teachings and generate them into a greater truth. May my ceiling become my spiritual sons and daughters' floor. May they rise to a higher calling and a greater expectation in their lives and in their ministries. Thank you for the privilege of doing this. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.